At the end of the 2023 spring semester, an American university teacher wondered whether his students had written their essays themselves or whether they had been written by ChatGPT. In order to find out, he put those essays into ChatGPT and asked the computer whether it had written them. The computer said, yes, it had written them, and the teacher failed all his students. This may sound pretty reasonable. If you interact with a chatbot like ChatGPT, it seems to know a lot. And although its knowledge is not perfect, surely the one thing it ought to know most about is its own actions. So, an intelligent, reasonable person might well do what this teacher did. The problem is that ChatGPT did not write any of those essays. Given what we have learned about large language models in the previous video, we can understand what's going on. ChatGPT was never trying to give a true answer to the question whether or not it wrote those essays. Rather, the underlying LLM was trying to predict how the conversation might develop. And of course, it's very reasonable to predict that a computer would confess to having written the essays. The LLM was probably trained on a lot of fiction involving a lot of confession scenes. So writing a confession scene, no problem. And you can't even really say that ChatGPT was mistaken when it said that it had written those essays. Because, you know, it never really said that it had written those essays. It just predicted that a computer in this particular conversation might say that. ChatGPT cannot lie and it cannot make mistakes because it's just not in the business of knowing things and telling the truth. So why do so many people who use these chatbots get the wrong idea about this? Why does almost everyone talk about them in terms of truth, knowledge, mistakes and so on? The answer is both simple and disconcerting. Let's check some actual ChatGPT output. If I ask it, what did I have for breakfast this morning? This is the answer I might get. I'm sorry, but I don't have access to personal information about individuals unless it has been shared with me in the course of our conversation. Therefore, I wouldn't know what you had for breakfast this morning. I am here to provide information and answer questions to the best of my knowledge and abilities. It's pretty clear why almost everyone talks about these chatbots in terms of truth and knowledge and mistakes. That's what they themselves do. Constantly. They talk about what they know, they apologize for mistakes and so on. Why? because the companies that offer them to users train their models to do so. These programs are text prediction programs, but the companies try to sell them as something else entirely, namely as sources of accurate information. And they design their chatbots in such a way that they use highly misleading expressions to talk about themselves and thus to present themselves as agents with knowledge to attempt to tell you the truth. I have my opinions about the ethics of business practices like that, but I'll leave that aside for this video. I'm also going to set aside legitimate issues about the environmental impact of LLMs, about privacy and copyright issues, and about labor issues. Instead, I will focus on the following two questions. Are there any legitimate users of LLMs and the chatbots that have been built around them? And if so, what are they? Yes, there definitely are legitimate users of LLMs. Obviously, if you don't need the truth, but just a computer program that can generate plausible texts, you might be fine. LLMs can sometimes be wonderful in a brainstorming session. They are also quite capable of fixing grammatical mistakes in an existing text. In addition, they are pretty good at producing texts in standard formats, such as writing the first draft of a simple business email or writing certain kinds of computer code. 
And in cases where you are interested in the truth, they usually answer simple questions correctly and sometimes produce good results even for more complicated or obscure questions. But here's the catch. You cannot trust the output. These models have not been built to gather, evaluate and reproduce knowledge. Text prediction often ends up predicting texts that are true. And the companies selling this technology are trying to increase the percentage of true answers in all kinds of ways. But fundamentally, the technology of large language models is not about knowledge and truth, and therefore it is always in danger of producing things that look plausible, but are just plain wrong. So, using the output of LLMs can be fine, but only if either truth is no concern of yours, or you have the ability to check the output and see whether it's right. A computer programmer can ask ChatGPT to write some code, but they had better check whether that code is correct before putting it into their business critical software. And you can ask ChatGPT to explain a difficult theory to you. But unless you already understand the theory and can check whether the explanation is correct, this is going to be very dangerous. If you trust the output, you may end up believing things that are wrong or even totally nonsensical. They just sound plausible to people who don't know the topic very well. You certainly don't want to rely on this in your university coursework. If you decide to use large language models, use them with caution. First of all, and most obviously, don't use them in ways that constitute fraud. Don't hand in essays that you didn't write yourself. Okay. But beyond the obvious, don't trust the output of these models unless you yourself are in a position to verify their truth and argumentative cogency. You are a person, which means that you know certain things, engage in rational argument, weigh the evidence, in one word, think. And LLMs are really something else. You cannot outsource your thinking to them, nor should you want to.